I'm sure that you've heard of throwing the book at someone, right? But have you ever heard of throwing the chair at them? Considering how it went for country singer Morgan Wallen, I doubt that saying is probably gonna catch on. As I'm sure you've heard, or, or maybe you haven't, last Sunday night, Morgan Wallen, the country singer behind such hits as Last Night and Whiskey Glasses, among many others, was arrested for throwing a chair off the roof of a six-story bar. What led him to throw the chair off the roof? Mm, it's kind of hard to say. Maybe because he was at a bar. In a statement on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, formerly socially relevant, Metro Nashville PD said, country artist Morgan Wallen, 30, was booked early Early today on three counts of felony reckless endangerment and one count of misdemeanor disorderly conduct for throwing a chair from the rooftop of Chief's Bar Sunday night. The chair landed on Broadway, close to two MNPD officers. His bond, $15,250, and included this lovely mugshot. Well, first, let's approach this situation in a really general sense. The act of throwing a chair or generally anything else off of a roof in and of itself is not a crime. Usually, if you own the chair or if you have a license to toss it and you have permission to be on the roof, and as long as you don't hit anyone or get close to them or hit anyone's car or scare anyone, and as long as you clean up the pieces of the chair so you aren't littering, Wow, okay, now that I kind of lay it all out there, it does seem like it wouldn't be hard for chair tossing to usually be some sort of petty crime. Aww. But a bond of over $15,000? $15,000? That is so clown. I mean, you think Morgan Wallen is going to flee? Look at that face! He doesn't care! He'd be happy to come to court and explain what he did and why he did it. Only, um... Only he doesn't remember why he did it. Let's step back. Okay, he was at a bar and it was really, really late. He made his way to the roof of a bar. He threw a chair from the roof. That is, um, mm, that is really, really drunk. But is it criminal? Well, potentially, but misdemeanors only, right? Right? Guys? Guys, rock stars, country music stars, musicians in general, they can tend to get arrested when conditions are right. I mean, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking of Justin Bieber doing his drunk street racing in a Lamborghini in 2019, Wiz Khalifa getting picked up for possession. Oh, Willie Nelson has been arrested at least twice for weed. Could be more, I really can't remember. And it takes me back to high school to think of my very own spirit animal, Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses, getting arrested for and later convicted for inciting a riot in 1992. Inciting a riot? What a beast! But wait, I mean, no, no, no! Bad Axel, shame on you, no beast, no good. We can't encourage these musicians to race cars and start riots, right? That's bad for society. <laughs> no, no, it's actually great, unless someone gets hurt. If someone gets hurt, I, I take back everything I said. Let's look at Morgan Wallen's victims. Oh wait, <laughs> there weren't any. He didn't hurt anyone. As I quoted earlier, Morgan Wallen was arrested on three felony counts of reckless endangerment and one misdemeanor count of disorderly conduct. You heard me right. Three felony counts for throwing one chair off a bar roof. That could turn Morgan Wallen into a felon. Now, I just explained the different consequences that could come from doing something as drunken and foolish and potentially reckless as throwing a chair off the roof. And it didn't sound that serious, right? Like, not like a felony, did they? Well, that's because there's one very specific factor that changes Morgan Wallen's situation completely. When he threw that chair off the roof, it landed supposedly within three feet of two police officers. This should still be a misdemeanor, right? He didn't hurt anybody. Well, Tennessee law says this. A person commits an offense who recklessly engages in conduct that places or may place another person in imminent danger of death or serious bodily injury. Reckless endangerment is a class A misdemeanor. Reckless endangerment committed with a deadly weapon is a class E felony. Wait, a chair? A chair is not a deadly weapon. I'm sitting in one now, it's just a chair. A deadly weapon is something more like, um, like a gun or uh, like a gun, or maybe like a gun, or I guess supposedly like a samurai sword, but honestly, mostly a gun. And he threw one chair. This is the most ridiculous case of prosecutorial overcharging since Whistling Diesel got charged for splashing his jet skis. I mean, this shocks me. The statute provides that if it's a deadly weapon, it's a felony, okay? We all know what deadly weapons are. Even if you put someone in fear or at risk of death. Death 
it's still a misdemeanor. But these cops somehow get special treatment. Imagine the situation. You know he's up on the roof drinking. There's other people there. The cops have already arrived. So he throws a chair. Is this surprising the cops? Are they not looking up? No, of course not. And he didn't even try to hit the cops because if he did, they would have charged him with like attempted assault or attempted battery or something like that. In the criminal justice system, as we have it here in the US, prosecutors have a lot of leeway. They can take the criminal offenses that are brought to them by the, by the police and they can charge them pretty heavily, charge them normally, or just like ignore them. And this is an abusive, abusive case. I mean, this is clearly a situation where they're like, we hate this guy and we want to make a spectacle of his criminal charges. So the charge has clearly changed because it's cops that were nearby, but that's not in the statute. And there's nothing that like suggests anywhere at all that a chair is a deadly weapon. Remember, any sort of reckless act that puts someone at fear of death or severe bodily injury is just a class A misdemeanor. He wasn't using a weapon. A chair is not a weapon, period, full stop. Okay, so look, we know or we believe that we know that these charges are a total joke, but maybe we shouldn't be laughing because the Tennessee code states that the sentencing for felonies can be from one year to 60 years in prison and a fine of 50,000 to $350,000, depending on the class of felony. Now, this is a class E felony. That is at the very bottom of the list. That range is really gonna be like one year to five years of hard time, but honestly, that's not happening with Morgan Wallen. When the lawyers get involved with this and they actually drill into it, they're gonna see how preposterous these charges are. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if his lawyers file a motion to dismiss and get the whole thing thrown out, or at least the felony part of it. I already know what's gonna happen. He's gonna issue an apology. He's gonna plead guilty to a misdemeanor charge. It's not even gonna stay on his record. And after six months and he doesn't get in any more trouble, his record is gonna go away, poof just like mine did. But how do you feel about the fact that Morgan Wallen is being charged the same as someone who fires a gun into the air or someone who drives under the influence? Drop your pro se opinion down below. And the next time that you're out on the town, make sure you keep your eyes up and your chairs down. Country Mugus. Just finished breaking down di the different. Mm, I messed it up. Thank mm -hmm. you.